Spork. Hey everybody, this is Spork Gaming, and in this series of videos, we're going to be giving you all the information you need to know when arming your ship. Today, we'll be highlighting the Bering M4A laser cannon. First, we'll be going over a technical breakdown of the weapon system, providing you the in-depth view of all the important stats you need to know about the M4A. We'll then head into combat with the laser cannon and test out its efficiency. Oh, and Whitley's back. He'll be providing us with another one of his amazing guide ratings. Please be advised, uh, we perform the following tests with the new Arena Commander patch 1.0.3. As always, this information you're about to hear is subject to change as Star Citizen is still in Alpha. The Bering M4A laser is a size 2 weapon. It generates 34.5 heat units per shot, takes over 3 minutes to overheat, and generates 60 units of power per shot. It also has a max effective range of 685 meters. Once again, we tested the M4A on our favorite ships, the Anvil Hornet and the Aegis Avenger. We found that the M4A is a definite step up from Bering's previous model, but definitely no giant leap. After a recent patch, we found the M4A took a little longer to cause shield failure than its predecessor. Four direct hits will disable all shields. Once you're able to bring down a target shields, the M4A will provide you 9 damage per hit and a DPS of 36. Although the M4A is said to be a power hog, the beauty of the weapon system is in its heat management. Our test demonstrated that it frequently took over 3 minutes of constant fire before it overheated. So even if you are unable to get the great shot placement, your target will be under a constant barrage of fire for a decent amount of time. So far, the best shot placement with the M4A proved to be the cockpit area for both ships. On average, 16 rounds will take a Hornet down and 10 will destroy an Avenger. The worst placement was the aft and port sides, coming in at an average of 54 hits for the Hornet and 20 for the Avenger. Like with most engagements, if you're looking to destroy a target quickly, steer clear of these angles as they tend to produce heavy amounts of debris. Oh, and uh, what do you know? The Avenger's nose is still undefeated. If only targeting that front section, the M4A is unable to actually destroy the ship no matter how long you fire at it. Whitley here. It's not about how many Vanduul you kill, your ranking, or even about how much cred you spend. It's about balance. It's all about finding your Lagrange point in the verse. Bering has managed to find it with their second tier laser cannon, the M4A. It's bigger, it hits harder, all without sacrificing power or rate of fire. Come to think of it, the M4A is kind of like the M3A's big brother. Overall, if we were given a choice between the M3A or the M4A laser cannon, we would pick the M4A hands down. Just given the simple fact that this weapon will run out of energy long before it overheats, puts this as the superior bearing laser cannon. Now, this may change in upcoming patches when accurate power systems are added to each ship and the systems are tweaked and balanced over time, so keep that in mind. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please feel free to click on the subscribe button below, and you can always follow us on Twitter at Spork underscore gaming. Spark.